Here we stand in the place where Mario has buried all of his enemies. You could be next. Hey everybody, it's Mitchell Hunter here, and welcome back to more Mario Land 2! Get my brother out of the house! Last time, we finished up Micro Zone and made our way over to the Pumpkin Zone, one of my personal favorite zones in the entire game. Today, we're gonna go through Pumpkin Zone, maybe get the bonus levels if I decide to feel like getting them. If not, it's not that bad. Off to Pumpkin Zone, we're gonna be hearing a lot of this song. I think that this is the, basically the song of every single, um... Uh, zone in here, which I don't mind. We got a bunch of these Jason Goombas here, which feels so out of place, but so fitting. I think these things appeared in, in a later, like, 3D Mario title. Like, I want to say they did. I want to say that they appeared in, like, I would say, like, one of the Galaxy games, or maybe, maybe it was Odyssey. Because they're a cool design that I'm surprised I haven't seen much of lately. They got a, they got like a, either it was a huge sword or a huge machete stuck in her head, and just like, ugh, they're, they're creepy. Absolutely creepy. Their entire faces are just the big Jason hockey mask and stuff. More creepy than the fact that Goombas actually do have hands. It is confirmed canon. Up here. I forget, is this? No. This one has booze in it. I haven't seen these guys in a while. They're just happy to see me. Look at that smile on their face. Look at that pure smile. You know, if they actually decide to come up here. Yeah. Look at look at that pure smile. Look how happy they are. I always love booze. They're one of my favorite characters, especially when I play Mario Party. Like, even though I'm a Luigi main in Mario Party, especially the early ones. I used to be like I'm main for Yoshi, but then just I I grew to love Luigi more. After Boo was introduced, which a lot of people don't understand why Boo was added as a playable character, when then you realize, hey, why was Toad added as a playable character? He he just gave out stars in the first couple of games, and it was like, Boo wasn't like an essential part, uh, part of like the earlier Mario Party, so it makes the most sense that he'd be playable in later ones. Yeah, I never got it. Then again, people enjoyed the fact that Dry Bones was a character. Oh, it's a vampire! He's so out of place! Why is he here? And look at that smile! It's so pure! And now he's dead. And I missed my jump. Yeah, that's kind of what I get for missing my jump. Alright, let's try this again. Second verse, same as the first, except do it better this time. You could go down, but I guess I was wrong. I might be thinking of a different pipe in Pumpkin Zone. Alright, let's try this again. Head up here. Kill the happy vampire. Oh, right, there was a bonus zone up here, but I had to use the, the bat to springboard off of. Nah, we'll save it for after that. We'll, we'll come back and do these levels after we beat the boss. I was tempted to say, you know what, should I just go ahead and kill myself again? But, nah. Let's grab some more lives instead. Dun, 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 dun. Alright. Is... I think that, yeah, this is like the very, like, heavy Japanese yokai level. Like, when I said that there's a lot of things in this game that don't stand out, also those are not background things, those are actual enemies. As I said, when I, this game has a bunch of enemies that really stand out and just aren't your typical Mario enemies. Well, here, have just a bunch of Japanese yokai be enemies. You got, you got these umbrella guys that killed me again, I apologize. Let's try this again. And just run right under them, they can never hit you if you just run straight forward. You got Yokai, you got these wells, which I guess technically is what they're supposed to go for in aesthetic wise because it's like this, and then you got the pipe as the well. And then you got it turned upside down as a bell. Like, you can't deny that this was like a very Japanese heavily influenced level. You got some cheap cheeps as decorations up top. You got some coins up here, grab these. I think there's something at the end. It's a wisp! 
It's adorable! Or that might be just a lava bubble. I don't know. Also, I think that's the only time I actually ever see that thing in this level. I just seen it floating around up there. It's minding its own business. Uh, Alright, how about, uh... I'm guessing an ogre. Or, no, those things actually do show up more in the level. I'm sucking big time on this. This is my favorite level in the game. Mostly because I'm just a big sucker for... Japanese mythology. Alright, let's go down the well. It's starting to show, isn't it? I'm almost half tempted to just go gamble my problems away. This time, go this way, and not the other way. Grab ourselves this so I don't die in one hit anymore. I messed it up. Alright, let's get out of here. Finally got to be big again. Feels nice. At least I can take more than one hit now. But yeah, this all it's just super weird just how drastic the change is. Like, okay, Tree Zone had had the weird fish cow things, but alright, fine, whatever. Uh, Micro Zone had, had the ants and had all that stuff in the library and alright, fine, you know. But then you just come to this level where just the aesthetic changes entirely, and it's just like, it's great. Just gotta be careful with a little puzzle area with the booze coming after you. You need to be careful if you want to grab that one up, you gotta draw the second one away from it. And over this way, and we're free. Now we have a choice, we can actually get a bunch of power-ups, and which I am going to do. I at least want to try and grab this fire flower right here possible to get everything if you are smart with your jumps. I would say to go for the, the bunny ears, but uh, it's not really worth it with this level, especially with the fact that we're going into water right here. I'd rather be offensive in the water than have good jumping, besides we're not even at the boss yet. We do have a star man. So we shall take that, or and not miss the jump. Make a run for it. I screwed that up. All right. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come on. There we go. That would have been a perfect, like, triple score. But, all right. We're done with this level. You know what? This is the only one we haven't hit yet. Let's do this. Let's see. Got the bunny ears again. Oh, no, wait, we get, do get the one up. Nice. I would have preferred either or having the extra jump, especially for the next level. The next level is going to be a very, like, jump heavy level. Because we're going to a haunted house! This feels so out of place in, like, the setting, not in this game. Got these ghost goombas here. Don't touch them. They are immortal and they will hurt. Right. Carrot. Got our nice pro carotene right here. I don't know why I said almost said protein. Hmm. 
And we're just gonna fly right past everything. Get some goons over here, just gonna dodge them. I believe that if we stick to the high road, then we get to the bonus world. I don't want to go through that yet, but we're just gonna speed through this level next time we revisit it just so that we can get right to the bonus level. Which is right there! Gonna just avoid that? Let's just go down here instead. I see, you got, you got the coins pointing out to show that, yeah, there's a secret up there. But we're gonna finish the, the world before we decide to go after the secrets. This, come on, ah, I should have waited just a half second longer. Alright, into the burning skull! What dastardly bees could be hiding inside here besides... I never got what these are, are these supposed to be tentacles or are they supposed to be leeches? Like, they could be either or. Either way, they creep me out, I don't like the way they move. This is a boo heavy level. I thought boo's like not as present in this game, but goes to show what I remember. This is another one up. Up to 26 now. And completely whiff it on the jump of the boo. Okay, please get up the pipe, thank you. So the checkpoint, and it's a magic broom! This is gonna clean the ever-living hell out of this place. <laughs> okay, good. Got some Jason Goombas here. I guess if we had the, the fire... Actually, you know what? We can just go right around them and get the coins this way. 874, I just realized how much, how many coins we have left. Nope. I believe that there's a coin bag in one of these pipes. If I can get up, okay, I guess you can only go down these pipes. You can only go up this one. Placement for it's kind of wonky, but you can get used to it. Is it this one? Nope, that's a fire flower. Yeah, which I'm now gonna need. There it is, there's a money bag. I think the money bag gives you 50 coins in total. We'll see it as soon as we pick it up. There's also a fire flower. 940, so that was a... See, so... That was like 70 coins then. 890... That was... Yeah, that was 50 coins. I was right on the mark. Alright, our next bots... It's a witch! I love the little laugh she does. Ah, ah, ah. At least her color scheme looks nice compared to the blue mouse and and the the bird. Kind of tough. The fact that she just teleports all all over the place. Just dodge the fire. Simple. Tries to send her cauldrons to go up and get into the spikes. And I completely whiffed it. This is why I prefer the the bunny ears over this, because you can just glide back and forth on the levels to knock her out. You can jump on the the 
bottles in there? I never noticed that. And I completely screwed that up. So you can't go up that one. Alright, I don't know why that, that last one's the only way you can go up. It's a good thing all this stuff just replenishes itself every time you die. So this is like a good grinding spot for coins if you got the if you got the lives for it. You know, if you want to kill yourself over and over just for money. All right, let's try this again, shall we? I love the background, it adds a lot of character to this boss. Right, there's one. Very predictable because she just goes back and forth with her teleportation. There's two. Uh, can I not screw this jump up? Oh! She, she threw me for a loop! But, a lot of good it did her. And we've also maxed out our coins already. ourselves the pumpkin coin. I like the design of it. Very Halloween-ish. And now we're gonna go off, because we have now maxed out our coins. We cannot get any more, otherwise it's just gonna go to waste. So instead, we're gonna go to the casino over here, and we're gonna go gamble our problems away. Got a nice little tune to it. I like the design of it. It's very cozy in here. Just like this little secret path inside this hill. So we got a 30 coin, we got a 50 coin, we got a 200 coin, and we got the max 999 coin slots. Basically, I, this only gets you items, this gets you items and lives, this gets you items and even more lives, and this gets you a whole mess of lives. You can get up to 99 lives in here if you're lucky. Otherwise, you've just thrown all this away. There, You can also get up to 5 lives. You don't have to worry about uh, not getting something. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cover my eyes, and hope to god I actually get the 99 lives. Ah! Ah! It hurts so much! Oh, I should have waited a second sooner. That is the worst possible feeling in the world where it's just like, oh my god, did I actually hit jackpot? Nope! Alright. Let's head back. It was this one. Makes sense with the coffins and the vampire and stuff. We're just gonna go back through here and go check out the bonus levels. I should uh, make notes of another mechanic in this game. It showed itself in Microzone, but I never called attention to it. Well, seriously, that actually counted as me getting hit? Alright. Uh, the enemy counter down there. You might be wondering what it's for. Well, if that counter gets to 100, you get a free Starman, which you can do to just get a whole bunch of 1-ups. So, it's good to calculate which uh, enemy is going to be the 100, and then just keep a couple of enemies around it alive just to, you know, get the free 1-up, or 2-up, or 5-up. Who knows? Maybe you're in a place that has a lot of enemies in it. I should have ran. I, sh I should have just bolted right through there. Which is what I'm gonna do now. Ooh. I always thought the, the piranha plants that shoot fireballs at you were like really heavy metal or piranha plants because of just like the spikes they have kind of look like a, mo or like a mohawk. Also, kind of like a goatee as well. Alright, Mr. Vampire. Hello. And up here is not a secret path. It's just a... 
Could have sworn that this led to a secret path. Maybe I was thinking of a different level. I don't know why, but every time that vampire's on screen, it just chugs the game so hard. Well, we do know of one that we can go into, so we're gonna go back to the haunted house. Hear, hear more of this very inappropriate music for this area. It's so, so inappropriate for like a haunted house area. This way. Flutter past everything. Just speed run this level. Here, just gonna tank the hit. And we're in. Also, although I probably shouldn't have lost my bunny ears because if this is the level I think it is, then I probably should have used the precision platforming. Yep, it is! Oh, actually, I don't think I could even use the bunny ears because we need the fire flower for this. Also, this, this is evil. That's some good disappointment. And if you fail the level, you gotta go back through the haunted house again. We'll try it again. I just wanted to show it off right now. We'll rerun that level one more time before we go to the final level of the game. But for now, that is gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Next time on Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins, we are going to jump into an embodiment of Mario's ego, Mario Zone. Yep, Mar Mario just has a giant blue-faced attack robot ready to defend his island. Well, see you guys next time. Later!